Well, what's up everyone? This is Rayuka, and today let's talk YouTube's age restricted or age restriction problem. So now before going any further, just be aware I may go off on a rant and there may be some language. Now that I got that out of the way, um, I am recording this as of August 7th, 2021 in the afternoon. The reason why I mention this is because when I start reading this email that YouTube sent me, which has been quite a few emails so far, but they all pretty much say the same thing. I'm going to read the, the part that I find interesting. It's just, it's just that that bread and butter portion, that first portion of the email. So the title of it is some of your YouTube videos have been age restricted. And the one that sent the email was YouTube community guidelines. So on the far right corner of top, you'll see that uh, the date, the time the email was sent. And I'll get into why that's important shortly. So anyways, I'm going to get into reading this. Hi, Ryuka Gaming. We have reviewed your content and determined that some content on your channel, Ryuka Gaming, may not be suitable for viewers under the age of 18, per our community guidelines. As a result, we have age restricted these videos. To see the specific content that has been age restricted, visit YouTube Studio and use the age restriction filter. Please know it may take up to 24 hours for this content to be age restricted, so you may need to check in again tomorrow to see all of your age restricted videos. We haven't applied a strike to your channel and your content is still live for some users on YouTube. Keep reading for more details on what this means and steps you can take if you like to appeal this decision. Now, remember earlier that I mentioned that uh, that whole thing on the right corner up top, timestamp, it says one day and all that, because it passed 24 hours, right? And in the email, in each of these emails, they provide a link to the content in question that is supposedly restricted. So I click on this content that's in question and nothing appears as you'll see in the screenshots shortly in these screenshots nothing appears right so i'm thinking okay maybe i'm doing this wrong so i'm looking up and down into the youtube studio thing going looking all over the place and i cannot find the content in question that youtube is telling me that is age restricted but yet I have content apparently that's age restricted that has not appeared within the past 24 hours because based on this email and I quote YouTube claims it no it may take up to 24 hours for this content to be age restricted meaning that once it gets age restricted it should appear but the content in question hasn't appeared but yet I'm being told I have content that's age restricted. That doesn't make any sense to me. And I feel like this is targeted in my opinion. YouTube can't tell me, oh, well, you shouldn't feel like that. That's exactly how I feel like right now. I feel like this is targeted. And the fact that I have to go on Twitter to get a response, which by the way, they, they don't respond to complaints for the most part. It's rare that YouTube does. It's ridiculous. You know, YouTube doesn't even have a customer support number that I know of. So it's like when things like this happen, you're left to the wolves to figure out, hey, what's going to happen? And right now, I don't know what to do because apparently the three invisible age restricted videos have not appeared. Within the past 24 hours, by the way, by your wonderful broken system, YouTube. I mean, I could go on all day how broken this system is. I mean, their copyright system is another joke. That system is getting abused up, down, left, right, and center. Uh, YouTube and though YouTube will deny that it's censoring content creators, they, they definitely are for various different reasons, in my opinion, which I believe I can still have. And then um the thumbnail issue where youtube system made theme theme a thumbnail excuse me not theme theme a thumbnail harmful or whatever i mean i did a video on that on my channel because i experienced that 
and I disputed it. And to this day, I never got a response to why the hell the thumbnails were removed. Not even an email. And the list can go on and on with problems. Here, I'll give another example. YouTube talks about age restricted, right? And, you know, I've been dealing with so much crap from this platform recently, just so much nonsense, unnecessary things. But then, you know, there's channels on YouTube and I want to be clear, I'm not targeting. I am not targeting any of these channels. I'm just showing examples here of the kind of content that what looks like YouTube ignores. And what some of these channels do, for what I've noticed, they'll upload very spicy or questionable content with very catchy and spicy thumbnails. And then they'll remove the content after a certain period of time. And then they'll upload something else based around within that same category, but something else. So it's no secret that YouTube has a hentai problem because there's a lot of that on YouTube actually. It doesn't take a lot of research to find said content, right? And the sad part is there's a lot of video games that have anime-like art. And fun fact, for those who don't know what hentai is, it's adult anime. And obviously, adult anime has anime art. It's pretty much anime, just adult. And yet, you have channels out there, as the example of the screenshots I will show, that upload questionable content like this, which I have to censor parts of the of the image that I'm putting up right now because, well, let's just say these thumbnails on these videos are pretty much scenes from the hentai itself just planted as a thumbnail, right? And what bothers me about this is that my channel, I got hit for far less and I disputed it. I disputed the thumbnail issue, but yeah, I never got a response, but it's okay for channels to upload thumbnails like that as you see, which in this, the images that you've seen, I had the sensor, but I mean, you could put two and two together. And it's not hard to imagine what is shown in that thumbnail. And I want to be clear, I'm not targeting the, these channels. I am not targeting these channels. I get they're doing their thing. They're trying to grow. I don't think this is the right way to do it, but hey, different strokes for different folks, right? So while content like this gets for what it seems like a Nord or whatever the case may be, I get hit for less. And I'm pretty sure there's tons of small channels out there that have got Thanos snapped for reasons beyond one's understanding. And some of the stories may sound so ridiculous, so unbelievable. But then yet again, I look at what I've been going through and I'm like, eh, I, maybe not all of it's that crazy, right? I mean, I got hit with three age, these three age restrictions so far. And, well, I don't even know what the hell is being age restricted. It's past 24 hours, and I can't even dispute or appeal these things. In fact, I've disputed many things on the channel, and I've never got a response from YouTube on anything about it. Why it was removed, or what happened, nothing. I even make videos about it. Here's another example I can give right now. You know, I was talking about thumbnails not that far long ago. And I released a video based on a fighting game called Kenju. I did a whole playthrough of that game. It's a fighting game, by the way. Fighting game. And one of the characters has a robust design, right? Now, based on YouTube's terms of service and community guidelines, the art of the game falls under fair use. I mean, it's it's art, right? It's, it's art, okay? The Mona Lisa done by da vinci is art right uh statues that you can find all over greece that have nudity and whatnot though it's inappropriate it's still art and it's also history arguably so the image or the art from the in-game i used in the thumbnail but it was in-game art and youtube deemed it bad no no it gave me a warning they removed it so I had to update the thumbnail and censor it because YouTube deemed it bad. And I want to be clear, my channel's content is for mature audience. I have only two options on my channel when it comes to setting the, the I guess the audience per se. 
either 18 over or kids. Now, I don't make content for kids, so my channel, therefore, is for a mature audience, so I have it set for 18 or over. You know, I can't put a channel rating on my channel. I mean, YouTube doesn't allow that for me. I can't put MA, RAR, uh, NC17. I can't do none of that stuff. I can't set a rating for my channel. So I'm just stuck with leaving it 18 or over. And I do fighting game playthroughs for the most part. Yeah, given I do horror games every now and then. Resident Evil. Until Dawn, maybe, which I've done in the past. A lot of fighting games, some unboxings, some opinion pieces where I talk about games, mainly fighting games for the most part. I used to do reviews, which I stopped. I mean, I, I dabble with quite a few different categories on my channel. But YouTube doesn't seem to care. You know, they, they just don't care, right? Even though I'm following their rules. And yet, I keep dealing with things like this. Age restriction or broken copyright system or thumbnail bull crap. If it's not that, it's something else. The list goes on and on and on and on. And I can see some of the YouTube defenders out there. Well, YouTube has millions and billions of people uploading all the time. You know, YouTube can't be everywhere at once. Really? I, I, I don't want to hear that bullshit. I really don't. YouTube makes a lot of money. They can hire the workforce to handle this platform. And as for these little experiments they do, whether it's age restriction or whatever, or something else, they do trial runs before they put it into the mass public or whatever. So as far as I'm concerned, there's no excuse for this. There's none. Well, the other side will say, the other side of the argument that is, well, you know, bugs are going to happen. Things are going to happen. You see, as I was looking into this whole age restriction thing, this has been going on for more than 10 months now. So, YouTube's been doing this for quite some time. It just recently came my way, though. YouTube system is broken. I said it before, and I'll say it again. It's an unbalanced mess, and in my opinion, YouTube has biases, and they have their favorites when it comes to content creators. Let's not sugarcoat it. It's no secret. People ain't that stupid. But it seems like, from what I can see, YouTube just wants to make it harder for everyone to grow on this platform. And sadly, YouTube is currently, anyways, the only platform where you can get a lot of reach. This platform, you get a lot of reach. This is where you can grow quite a bit of an audience. But if YouTube keeps doing ridiculous things like this, you know, let's change the TOS and punish everyone. Let's change the community guidelines and punish everyone under the sun, whatever the case may be. It's stuff like this that's just going to make people leave this platform. Not like that's not already happening. I mean, there's a lot of content creators leaving here. And sooner or later, as my space before it, you know, there'll be another platform that will defy this one, YouTube, and YouTube would just be the relic of a past because YouTube is literally blowing his own foot off. It doesn't even realize it. But that's my opinion. You know, this is frustrating and it's just me going off on a bit of a rant. I'm not, I, I just don't feel like yelling, screaming. It just doesn't matter. I've been dealing with this for so long. It's, it's just stupid. You know, in this case, I'm dealing with the age restriction stuff now. So if it's not copyright now, it's this. I don't know what's next. I really don't know what's next when it comes to this channel because YouTube is infamous for their lack of transparency. They really are not. Don't take my word for it. Look around. It does not take a lot of looking. <sighs> Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say for now. Whenever, whenever, if I ever see these supposed age restricted videos, I will dispute it. Because as far as I'm concerned, I follow the community guidelines. I follow the, the terms of service. And YouTube, I'm going to keep it 100 here. 
I don't have to follow any of this shit. I really don't. But I do it because I like to create content. I do it because I want my viewers, those who are subscribed, to be entertained. Or for whatever reason, you know, people subscribe because everyone subscribes for different reasons, of course. But I do this for those who are subscribed. I don't do this for you, YouTube. But I do play by your rules. But clearly, your rules are not applied evenly. That's exactly what I'm seeing. And I've been seeing that for quite a while, actually, in my opinion. Anyways, that's that's pretty much it. Um, if y'all are new to the channel, feel free to check out the content. I do a lot of gaming stuff or whatever. So if you enjoy the content here, of course, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if not, well, thanks for giving my channel a shot. Anyways, as always, this is Rayuki here saying thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And also feel free to share this video. Just share this video everywhere. I want the message to get across, even if it does nothing. As long as someone knows out there, maybe this could get to a, a bigger content creator and, you know, they don't have to reference me or anything. I don't care as long as the message gets out there somehow that this is a problem, this whole age restriction stuff, and this is being applied very unevenly, in my opinion. As long as the message somehow gets out there, that'll be a good thing, if it ever does, that is. Um, and as always, um, this is Ray Ukiri saying, until next time, everyone, sign off.